I'm Erin Conrad from Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. A homicide investigation is underway in Tulsa. Police say it happened just after 1 o'clock this morning near the Town Square Apartments. Officers say they found 20-year-old Adrian Thornton. Thornton was found in a car that had crashed into a tree at the entrance of the complex. He was pronounced dead at the scene, shot to death. At this time, detectives do not have anyone in custody. Police have notified the family and is investigating. Of course, we will keep you updated if we learn any more information. And today marks two years since a tornado ripped apart businesses in Midtown Tulsa near 41st and Yale, leaving a long path of destruction that can still be seen. More than 30 people were hurt in that EF2 tornado. The August 6th tornado hit around 1 a.m. when most of the shops were closed and left a lot of destruction behind. Other businesses in the shopping center, like AT&T and Panera, have rebuilt there. The Whataburger across the street that was destroyed has now been rebuilt as well. On 41st and I-44, just reopened its doors just last week. And Broken Arrow first responders are planning to take part in the annual National Night Out event. Neighbors are asked to turn on their front porch lights and spend the evening outside with neighbors. Police officers will also be in different neighborhoods across the city listening to any concerns anyone may have. National Night Out in Broken Arrow goes from 6 p.m. until 8.30. And let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Clint Boone. Thank you very much, Aaron. Dangerous heat for us this afternoon. Heat advisory is in effect through 8 o'clock. Heat index this afternoon close to about 111 this afternoon. Here's a look at our temperatures. Probably the one of the hottest days we've had so far this summer in the upper 90s. Slight chance for a shower northeast of town tomorrow. A little bit better opportunity for a few showers and storms. Generally from Tulsa to the north for Thursday and Friday. Heat builds back in for the weekend next week. Could even see some triple digit temperatures by next Monday and Tuesday. Aaron. All right. Thank you, Clint. That was a look at our digital update. Keep checking back for updates all throughout the day. I'm Erin Conrad. Two works for you.